Learning about a series of incidents in the early hours of the morning in Providence that amounted to a violent night, including one man that was killed. Happened near an industrial park on DuPont Drive. Investigation continues this noontime. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshuto joining us live in Providence right now with the very latest information. Well, this is homicide number seven for the city of Providence. The latest victim, a 28 year old man. I just got some new information that really gives us a new glimpse into what exactly police found last night. Now they were called to DuPont Drive a little bit after midnight around 1230 this morning. When they got there, they found the victim with a gunshot wound to the chest. Police say witnesses told them about 100 cars were parked in the lot, smoking, drinking and setting off fireworks, listening to music. We were coming off of a holiday and that's when people noticed a few people running and then the victim was found on the ground. He was later pronounced dead at the hospital, according to police. So far, there is no one in custody and today in the daylight, we saw detectives were back on scene there on DuPont. However, it was certainly not this was not the only thing police responded to last night. It was certainly a very busy night for authorities in Providence. I just picked up at least two other police reports that involved shooting, including one case where a bullet went through a home and in the other, a man was shot in the leg. And that is just one look into what police dealt with last night. We will continue tracking this for you and bring you any updates as we piece them together tonight on 12 News starting at 4. For now, reporting live in Providence, I'm Sheena Loshudo. 12 News.